Hi everybody, it's T from Betty and Brenda and I have my lovely teenage daughter assistant helping me make this soap today. Her name is Jay. Say hi. Hi. She is out for the summer so she is um, excited about helping me make soap. And as you can see, yes, I am making another soap today. So welcome back to my channel if you're already a subscriber. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can see me make bath and body products on a weekly basis. I do upload videos on Saturday, so be sure to click that notification bell so you'll know when I put a video out there. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up just because you like watching people make soap. So today I am making a soap, don't have a name for it yet, but I am putting these cute little embeds on the top. They will be the main feature of the soap. So the base of the soap is going to be white and I'm using my titanium dioxide for that. And I am going to do an in the pot swirl, dropping in some pow pow purple from Mad Micah's and also some ballet slippers from Mad Micah's. These are some new colors. I've never tried them before, so I'm excited to see how they turn out. And once I get all of that in, I am going to do just one single layer of soap frosting with this Aphrodite. Um, it looks a real blue in the bottle, but I'm hoping it'll come out a little more teal, but we'll see how that works and just so you can kind of get an idea also of what the the ballet slippers look like that's that pink right there and then the pow pow purple which is so pretty can't wait to use to see what this looks like that's that purple in addition to that i think i'm going to put some little sparkle white snow mica powder i'm gonna shimmer that across the top and then for my fragrance, fragrance, I'm using one of my favorites, which is Persephone's Kiss from Nurture Soap. It soaps wonderfully. So if you haven't tried that, definitely give that a try. Okay, so in this bucket, I already have my hard oils as well as my liquid oils all melted away and inside here. Today, I am using four liquid oils, castor, almond and rice bran. Rice bran makes the most lovely lather. So if you haven't used that, again, that's something you might want to give a try. And then I have some cocoa butter and here's some mango butter. And then I also have babasu oil. Babasu oil can be a little bit on the expensive side, but it's a really good replacement for people who cannot use coconut oil. I don't use it a lot, again, because it is expensive. But with every series of soaps, I at least try to have one or two bars in there that is coconut oil free. And I've also sprinkled in here some yogurt powder, which again helps give that creamy, wonderful lather that we all want and um, helps to keep those oils in your skin and not strip away your natural oils. Okay, so we have everything here together. Our lye water is here. Everything is ready. We have on our gloves, our long sleeve shirts, closed toed shoes and pants. We have our glasses on. We're gonna grab our masks and let's get ready to make some soap.
day and a half since we made the soap and as you can see I have it already here on the mold ready to cut uh, the particular mold that I use I don't think I had it quite measured out correctly for where to place my embed so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of maneuvering to make sure that I don't cut into the embed I'm sure you could see I was trying to figure out where to put the embeds to make sure that there was at least two on each soap but I do have to say I am loving it so far it looks really pretty right now and let me let you see the side of it ah look at that I think it's gonna be a good one then I guess I always think that but I have it lined up here ready to cut um I have my little helper my teenage helper with me today my daughter Jay and Jay what what do you think so far just by looking at it right here think it's gonna turn out good yeah I really like it okay she really likes it um she's trying to be a little a little shy but let her get on the phones with her friends and it's a completely different story um or if she's playing with among us do y'all still play among us not um, among us what's the name of it among us. it is among us ah there you go of course you can see that i don't play but anyway so you let's get that's the difference no i don't want to play uh but anyway let's get in here and see what this sample piece is like it's the first little cut here and look at it it's already trying to get into one of my embeds but okay so that's the first piece all right so now let's get a real piece and see what this looks like and let's see how much maneuvering i'm actually going to have to do to make sure i don't cut into any of the embeds okay all right first piece here we go Ooh, i really like it all right look at that it almost um looks like some ice cream or something look at it what do you guys think I am loving it. Jay? It's really pretty. I really like it. It does look like ice cream. It does. It. It, she wants to eat it. It does. It looks like ice cream. Okay, so, so far so good. Let's get another piece. And here we go, another piece. And I really love the way the color sticks out a lot at the bottom. Up here, it's a little more muted, but again, it looks like something that we should eat. Okay. And actually, let me take you out just a little bit here. Okay. If you like this soap, guys, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And sorry if you hear my son upstairs. It is the summertime. They're out of school, so you may hear a little more than what you would normally hear. But as I was saying, oh, now look at this one. I really love this because you can see more of the colors right there. Um, it's very, very pretty. Ah. And I love the way it glitters on the top I think my daughter one of her favorite parts is a little sparkly on the top she loves to do that part she loves to see all the sparkles all over the the room when we do it isn't that right yes <laughs> okay so again don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you'll know when I put out new videos you can always visit bettyandbrenda.com to purchase any of these soaps that you see here always always comment below I love hearing from you guys I love knowing what you think and I love getting your suggestions about what you think I should make next don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Betty and Brenda bath p-r-o-d that's betty and brenda bath prod you get to see pictures ahead of time and get to know me a little bit better join my family be sure to comment and and actually let me know when you're there say hi once you follow but here is this soap i think i'm gonna name it picking flowers but 
I'm sure you've seen by the title now what I actually name it. Don't forget to stay tuned for pictures at the end. And Jay and I will talk to you guys next week when we're making more soap. Bye. Bye.